the, the uh, Couch Movie Critic. I'm just doing a follow-up review video for Batman Gotham by Gaslight, the unboxing that I did yesterday. And I uh, wanted to go ahead and touch bases and do a quick little review, tell you a little bit about what I thought about it, what my opinion was. And yes, I can understand the irony. I'm doing a review for a DC film wearing a Marvel shirt. So um, let's go ahead and get started here. So a couple key things about Gotham by Gaslight, the animated film. One of the things uh, I want to touch bases on, it's as always, just like everything with these DC animated films, they're always amazing. The quality is bar none. The actual... Um, animation the acting the scripting is always fantastic they do a great job i mean i said it before if dc could do what they do with the animated films with the live action films uh they would definitely be on par with marvel i mean this film has a great voice cast and just to name a few i mean you've got bruce greenwood as batman you've got jennifer Connelly as sunila kyle aka catwoman and then you've got um what's his name again scott patterson as um commissioner gordon uh, in the film itself so it's actually quite a great cast i mean that's just the name of few of them now a couple fantastic things i love about this film is number one the way batman um lends himself to the victorian era so seamlessly it's fantastic and then for those of you that are fans of steampunk it's great how they there's such a steampunk aesthetic to his costume and even to his weaponry and the things he has because, you know, Bruce Wayne, billionaire, he's going to have the most advanced technology. And at the time, most of it would have been steampunk. Um, there's definitely some interesting political views in there. You've got a lot of views on how women at the time with the Suffrage Act were treated and viewed. And that, that is intriguing in itself to see that in a film. It's almost tongue in cheek, like there's a commentary in there about today's society. And you really got to kind of take your own opinion on that side of it. One of the things that I thought that was fascinating to me and that I loved about it is that they, not only did they adapt the film so well, they actually, or the book so well, they actually expanded on the universe. There were components to it that were wholly new and components that were actually tied in from the sequel. Um, I believe it was called The Future Masters in 91. And it was definitively a very different take than what I expected, but it was so well done, so well crafted. It's just totally enjoyable. Key thing to take home definitely is that it's definitely not a kid's film. It is definitely for adults. There is violence. There is bloodshed. Um, but uh, aside from that, I mean, it's just a great story. Um, it's fantastic to see some of your favorite characters get turned into their Victorian counterparts. And they do such a great job, including characters that weren't previously in the book. I mean, you've got characters in there um, from... <laughs> Batman the Animated Series, you got Harvey Bullock is in the film. You've got, you know, your Poison Ivy's, your Doctor Strange's. And there's even a small cameo in the film of uh, Cyrus Gold, who was actually Solomon Grundy before he died and became the zombie Solomon Grundy, which I thought was very, very cool. There's even references to the three Robins in the film, and that's just to name a few. Um, at no point is it a spoiler-related thing on that side of it. Um and there are definitely some fantastic spins on the film. And there's definitely uh, some very interesting plot twists, to say the least, without giving too much of the film up. You know, if you're a fan of the DC universe in general, or the DC animated series of uh, films, I would definitely, definitely recommend that if you're the type to collect some, go out and buy it. If you're not the type to buy it, I would recommend you at least renting it or getting a chance to watch it. Because it's definitely a film you would enjoy. Um, once again, I hope you guys enjoy the video and, um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and thanks. Have a great night.